Hey guys, it's April 17th, 2013. You're watching Speed Run. We got a brand new Nintendo Direct presentation this morning, and here's what's up in a nutshell. Release dates were announced for a bunch of Wii U and 3DS games, and we're also getting the Animal Crossing 3DS XL bundle, which will launch with the game on June 9th. We're also getting Earthbound on the Wii U Virtual Console this summer, and this holiday, a brand new Zelda game, a sequel to The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. The game has a new storyline, new dungeons, and you can be a painting and walk on walls. We're also getting next year Square Enix RPG Bravely Default Flying Fairy, the spiritual successor to Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light. An incoming update for the Wii U will decrease load times, allow players to boot the console up in Wii mode, allow users to share data between USBs, and allow them to download games in the background while playing. The Wii U Virtual Console is also expected to launch the day after this update. This is all wonderful, but obviously the only thing that matters is Bravely Default. TimeGate, the studio that worked on Aliens Colonial Marines with Gearbox, could lose the license to its game, Section 8. The company faces $7.35 million in damages after the appeal of a fraud suit awarded to parent company South Peak. TimeGate recently announced its latest project, a multiplayer shooter, Minimum, and we've reached out to ask if this will affect the game. The latest episode of our Human Angle series is up today, focusing on the people behind Bit Summit. The goal of the conference is to raise awareness of the Japanese indie development scene with Western media. I've, I've asked a lot of people, like, so what do you think of the Japanese indie scene? And they're like, there is a scene? I thought, maybe if I help bring these guys to you, that'll give you some, something new to talk about. Really great story about something that I honestly didn't know much about. You guys should check it out. That's it for Speedrun. While you guys are off obsessing over the new Zelda, I'm gonna go fangirl over Bravely Default.